everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. Oh yeah, guys. So, since last episode, I have done some things around here. <laughs> yeah, I expanded out our area. Uh, I think last episode I had dug out a little bit of this dust all the way around, kind of like a square pattern. And then I just came through a little bit ago, and I made the walls two blocks tall so mobs can't get in. And then I placed some slabs right along the corners here, trying and keeping the spiders out. Now, I didn't square that off. I kind of followed the corners, kind of. Anyway, uh, the way I have this laid out now, a spider was able to jump over. So I still need to fix that up just a little bit. But now we have some walking around room. We don't have to worry about hiding at nighttime and keeping sand right here to keep all the mobs out so they don't walk in our front door. I think we should be pretty good. Um, yeah, I laid out a whole bunch of these glowstone nooks to light up the entire courtyard area here. Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Mobs can't really see us. Um, I think giant skeletons were able to shoot over this wall last episode. They can't do that now. Uh, the wall's now two and a half blocks tall as far as they're concerned. So yeah, I think we are off to a pretty good start here as far as staying away from mobs and surviving. <laughs> Let's see an orange. Oh, that's good. Okay. So let's take a look at the, our quest book today. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna kind of stay inside a little bit. I still don't quite 100% trust it. Oh, we got another thing here, under pressure. When did that unlock? Okay, well, first of all, let's look at basic survival. I know this wanted us to make some pipes and stuff, fluid ducts opaque, item ducts opaque, and leadstone energy conduit. Now, if I remember correctly, all of those are pretty easy, and that'll give us a leadstone flux capacitor, which we already have two of, I believe, an iron chest. Or a portable tank. Probably that portable tank is going to be what we want. Um, let's take a look. The portable tank, this actually might be pretty cheap. Oh, it is. It's very cheap. Four glass and a copper ingot. What was the other thing? The leadstone flux capacitor. The leadstone, and it is charged too, which is some lead, copper, and redstone, and sulfur. I don't know which one we should choose. I mean, we could upgrade to a hardened one. Huh. I mean, all of those are pretty inexpensive. Iron chest is only eight iron around a chest. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start looking at these things. So we need a fluid duct and an item duct. Okay, so the fluid duct and item ducts are down here. We need the opaque one. So the opaque one is just two copper ingots and a lead ingot. And we actually have that stuff made from last episode, so was it copper and lead? I can't remember now. Two copper, one lead, and that's what I had. No, I got the opposite of that. We got one lead and two copper now. Okay, so let's go ahead and make those. Must be daytime outside, and at least the mobs are kind of far away, and they're not like right in our face and when they're making sounds now, so that's good. Uh, so we have the fluid duct opaque, so the item duct opaque. And this is two tin and a lead. All right, we can do that. Um, one lead, two tin. Yep, pretty easy recipe. All righty, and finally the last one was the leadstone energy conduit. And this is two lead, a glass, and some redstone. Oh, you know what, I don't think we have sand. And since we don't have sand, we don't have glass. Um, we can go ahead and make some sand real quick. So let's go ahead and grab this. We will grab our hammer wherever that guy is right here. So that, we can go and smash that into gravel. And then we'll take the gravel and smash that into sand. Oh, and my furnace just ran out of fuel. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, I was cooking up some water just a little bit ago. Uh... Let's put a couple of spruce slabs in there. That should do the trick. We just need one piece of glass. Uh, what was it also? Six redstone? Let's get that going. There we go, six redstone. And one piece of glass. Awesome. Oh, you know what? Wasn't it also... Uh, I can't remember these recipes. Yeah, two lead ingots. We need those as well. Okay, so now we're out of lead ingots. So lead, lead, glass... And it's a little bit of redstone. Perfect. Okay, so now we're all set. Yeah, that'll give us one of these. 
you know, I don't, I don't really think we're going to need the leadstone flux capacitor. Let's just go and grab the portable tank. We can fill this with water and take extra water with us. Yeah, I think that's just the way we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so moving things around is complete. Um, we have a new quest called The End of the Beginning. Is that creepers walking around outside? Oh, there's skeleton. Okay, so there's a fault in my plan. Yeah, we put... <laughs> We put stone slabs all the way around the outside, and skeletons are hiding under those and not getting burned in the light. Okay, that makes sense. Let's come out here and... Actually, I'm going to turn off F7 mode. If you didn't know, F7 shows you spots where mobs can spawn. So this tool is really awesome. Shoot this. Shoot him. Shoot the creeper. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Boom. <laughs> yeah, this weapon is really awesome. I didn't realize that it had the special trait of you can actually attack mobs really quickly, like way faster than what you normally can. So as fast as you can click is how many times you can attack that mob in each round. So you, it's not like you attack and you got to wait half a second or whatever it is with the normal vanilla tools. So like this creeper, for instance, boom. <laughs> Don't even have to worry about it. Just keep spamming click. You shoot. Oh, he got me. Let's see if we can get a record. Shoot him. Shoot the creeper. Shoot the creeper. Oh, <laughs> dang. We could have gotten a record there, but the skeleton was just being a derp. Oh, well. Oh, geez. Another creeper here. And, yeah, I need to get some water in me. Oh, we got a creeper skull. That's cool. Which seeds did we get? Creeper plant seeds? Yeah. Okay. Few more creepers over here just want to collect the rest of this stuff. Yeah, see, my health is not regening, which is not good. Whoop. There must be more creeper plant seeds. Yes, it is. Let us eat, I guess, a piece of toast. Okay. We should be good. Yeah, I'm really liking this weapon. I wasn't sure if this was, like, such a good idea to get. But, yeah, after I found out that you can, like, spam click this thing for... <laughs> For multiple attacks, yeah, I think this weapon is really going to be worth it. So every attack increases its um, its XP, gives it a chance to level up thanks to Iguana Tweaks. Uh, oh, there's a spider over here too. Yep, spider dead. <laughs> yeah, this weapon really is pretty good. I know people are telling me in the comments that I should have made, what was it, the Cutlass or whatever that hidden weapon is from tinkers but no i think we're pretty good on this thing uh, i'm curious though what is the xp on this it is oh it's almost leveled up so we're almost 700 out of 800 so we're most of the way there yeah we gotta get back inside and get some water though before i start dying of dehydration we don't want that to happen all right uh eventually i would like to have our walls big enough that Mobs are just so far away, they're not even an issue to us. Oh, yep. I'm starting to overheat now. We need to get that water in our system. Camel pack. Two things of water. My inventory is so full right now, it's hard to uh, get everything in here that we need. Okay, there's that. This one and this one. Okay, so now our thing is full. All right, our dehydration should fix itself here in a second. Or, I'm sorry, our heat stroke. All right, so let's put away some of this stuff. Our inventory is way out of control. I can't wait until we get... I can't wait until we get Applied Energistics online. It's going to be so much nicer. Cobblestone, let's not go in here. Cobble. Yeah, so many mob drops. Oh, so good, so good. Okay, so book again. So for the book, we want End of the Beginning, which wants us to get plastic sheets and a printed circuit board. Okay, so it says, well, now you're done. You have a stable supply of both food and water. You have tools to shape the land around you and weapons and armor in which to defend yourself from attack. It's time to start looking beyond your immediate survival and start planning for the future. Okay, so we need plastic. Raw plastic or the plastic from pneumatic craft or pneumatic craft, as I'm probably going to call it. <laughs> uh, so I don't think we can really do that. So let's take a look over here at the under pressure section. Exploding iron. Not that your meat. Not that your immediate needs are taken care of. Is that supposed to be now? Now that your immediate needs are taken care of, 
It is time to start building the technology you will need to survive here for the long term. To that end, you will need a new form of metal. Okay, this is simple. Just go smelt some ore into iron egots. Oh, so we need eight iron. All right. So that should be pretty easy. We already got four of them here. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more. We'll turn all that into the dust form. For more of those, we just need something to fuel that with. We'll just put some planks in there. I could go down and get another bucket of lava, but I'm too lazy. Okay, so we just need to turn in the eight iron. We can manually detect the... Uh, oh, it won't even let us manually detect four out of eight. All right, that's fine. And that'll give us some compressed iron ingots. So this is the first step. All right, so we just need to wait for this iron to smelt. All right, all done. Now we got eight iron, so we can go ahead and manually detect that. So the second step, okay, next step, you'll need some TNT. You should have plenty of gunpowder by now, and you can hammer cobblestone into gravel and then hammer that to get the sand you need. So we need to turn in one TNT. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have some cobblestone here. Is it, I think it's four sand and five gunpowder to make gun, or yeah, to make TNT. Where's that hammer? Nope, wrong hammer, <laughs> not the crescent hammer. We need this hammer. Yeah, another thing I want to set up is uh, the autonomous activator with a whole bunch of these hammers in its inventory so it can just smash our cobblestone into gravel. Gravel is something we're going to need to get a lot of. Okay, so there's the sand, so we should be able to smelt. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We're not going to smelt sand. That would have been silly. We need five of this. Okay, so sand, 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 and sand, and then I think it's five gunpowder. Yeah, that makes our TNT perfect. Okay, so third step. I suggest going a little way, a little away from your base for this one. Dig a hole, drop the iron in it, place the TNT next to the iron, ignite the TNT, and then stand back. When the smoke clears, you should see you now have some compressed iron. Okay, well, I mean... Did we? Oh, we haven't gotten any iron, have we? Okay, well, we'll take this 8 iron and this TNT. What are we going to use to light that off? I guess we could make ourselves a lever. Lever should be fine. Uh, stick. Stick, stick. Actually, you know what? We got pressure plates here, right? Or we got stone. We'll make a pressure plate. Okay, so we need to go a little bit away from our base. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Guess we'll go right here. We dig down another one. So drop the iron in there. Some TNT. Oh, I don't... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> That's wigging out. Let's go ahead and place that and set that off. And, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we got six compressed iron. We lost a little bit of it, but that is fine. Oh, I gotta get out of here. It is getting dark. <laughs> get back into our safety. Uh, blocks. All right. So yeah, now we have some compressed iron. Okay, so what does this thing says now? Oh, that's it. Okay, very good. Uh, so that'll give us 16 compressed iron. Let's go and claim that reward. All right, so that's gonna make us do another quest now. So this is called heating up. Now that you have compressed iron, time to get building. The most basic component, but the most necessary. So we need to make a pressure tube. Yeah, pneumatic craft is kind of cool. I was taking a look at some stuff on it earlier today. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a really awesome mod. So we need to make a pressure tube. One of these guys. So that is two compressed iron and some glass. All right, well, I tell you guys what, let me go ahead and start getting ourselves some sand. Looks like we're gonna need a lot of glass for the stuff coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and crush some of our cobblestone into gravel and gravel in the sand, and we'll be back. Okay guys, so we got some glass going on, so let's go ahead and make our pressure tube. And, yep, that's all we needed for this. Now we have to make an air compressor, aha. Uh -huh. So this will generate compressed air when fed, when fed any solid fuel. Charcoal is probably easiest for now, although I'd recommend against using using blocks of charcoal. 
Uh, be careful not to add too much pressure to the system. If you push the system into the red zone over five bar of pressure, things could explode. The compressor can be set to respond to redstone signal. Uh, so using, so you can turn it off as needed using a lever. This can also be automated, but that is another quest. Aha. Uh -huh. So air compressor. I was also looking at these rewards down here. We could get the reward bag, which is like random stuff. We can get a pressure gauge, which is four gold and one compressed iron. Or we can get these lightning plant seeds. Now, I don't really know if there's any other way to get these lightning plant seeds. They might spawn randomly in one of those cities, wherever those are. Uh, I know you guys are saying it's at the end of the road over there. Uh, they might spawn randomly over in those cities or something, but I think that's probably what we're going to end up wanting to get is this lightning plant seeds. Okay, so air compressor is this guy right here. Oh, we need a pressure tube. Compressed iron and a furnace. All right, that's not too bad to make. Let's go ahead and make the furnace real quick. Furnace. Now, was it like this, this, and then the rest of this, the compressed iron? Yes, it was. Okay, so there's our air compressor. And that completes this task. That's going to give us four more pressure tubes. And I think we're going to take the lightning plant seeds. Yeah, the pressure gauge we can go ahead and make. That's not a big deal. Reward bag could give us something completely epic. I have no idea. Oh, I guess that might be another way we'd get those lightning plant seeds is through the reward bag, but I would rather get these things now. So let's go ahead and claim that reward. Uh, okay, so this has opened up two more quests. So measuring pressure. This wants us to make a pressure gauge tube. And then uh, putting pressure to work. This wants us to make... Ah, we're going to make the pressure chamber. Aha, very cool, very cool. Okay, so, wait, what was what was the other one? Measuring pressure. This is a pressure gauge tube. Pressure gauge tube. This guy right here, right? Yeah, it wasn't the advanced one. Okay, so we have to make the pressure gauge. All right, so I need to smelt up a little bit of gold so we can go ahead and do that real quick. What is that? Uh, 16 pieces of this we need. So gold dust. Oops. Yeah, we got our furnace over here going, cooking up some of our glass that we needed. All right, so let's go ahead and let that smelt. All right, guys, so we got everything together, and we should be able to make our pressure gauge tube. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And, yep, that completes this quest. It'll give us four compressed iron, so we'll claim that reward. Uh, next quest up is putting pressure to work. And this wants us to make one pressure chamber wall, one pressure chamber window, and one pressure chamber valve. Okay, so... Pressure cha chamber. <laughs> okay, so pressure chamber wall. Looks like to make that we have to use eight compressed iron ingots. I actually went and I made a few more of those just a moment ago. Uh, yeah, I figured we're probably going to need more of that for this coming up quest. Okay, so there's the pressure chamber wall. That completes this. Uh, we need the pressure chamber window. So we can make four of them with eight compressed iron and a piece of glass or... Uh, four pressure chamber walls and one piece of glass makes four of them. I'm not sure which way actually is cheaper. So it would be eight plus... Actually, I think that's the same exact price, right? The only difference is we could reuse these walls. Uh, but I think we're going to end up having to make a pressure chamber anyway. So we're probably going to want our own separate one. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and use eight more of that plus one piece of glass. Okay, so there's a pressure chamber window. And finally, we need the pressure chamber valve. This guy right here. Ah, so that's eight more compressed iron plus a pressure tube. Or, I guess that's eight more of the compressed iron plus a pressure tube. It's the same same recipe. Well, I guess the same amount, I should say. So there's eight of that plus one of these pressure tubes. Wait, what did I do wrong? Let's take a look. Compressed iron plus a pressure tube gives us a pressure chamber valve. Oh, did, okay, maybe I didn't do that wrong. I thought I had done that wrong for some reason. Okay, so there we go. That's all done. That's going to, oh, wait, no, we got another, <laughs> got another one here. Making it work. Okay, to use your pressure chamber, simply break one of the middle blocks, toss whatever you want into the process, or whatever you want to process in the middle and replace the block. Yes, you will lose a bit of air doing this. Oh, so I think I might have missed something. Okay, yeah, let's read this. Start with a 3x3 pressure chamber. You will need 25 pressure chamber walls. 
or pressure chamber windows and one pressure chamber valve. Simply build a 3x3 cube leaving the very center block open. The pressure chamber valve must connect to the air block in the middle. Aha. Okay, so we need to put the valve in the center and then make a 3x3. Three three. So we're going to need a bunch more of this stuff. And I don't think we have enough to do that. Because we're going to need, what is that, like 18... Like 24 blocks, I think. And we only have 8. Um, maybe not 24. I, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the point is we don't have enough compressed iron. And we don't have enough iron to make more compressed iron. Aha, so we're kind of stuck at this point. Um, I guess we could... Oh, no, we can't make the plastic. Ooh. Compressed iron. Oh, I guess it just detected I made, I made that already. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I guess we could make the plastic, but I think we need the pressure chamber to do that. Let's just double, double check. Plastic. Is it the green one? This one. Oh, creeper plant seeds. Okay. Looks like that's the only way. We need the pressure chamber. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we are unable to proceed further. We need to process a, a bunch more dust. Uh, we need to get a whole lot more iron than explode it. And yeah, okay. So that's where we're at now. So I guess the next step, I'll probably start working on that a little bit off camera. I think I'm going to start making a little bit of a garden here. Uh, I was in the process of making dirt earlier. I do want to automate that. You can automate these just by putting a hopper on top, hopper on the bottom, and feeding in leaves, and then having the hopper on the bottom feed into a chest or whatever. So we might do that just to make a whole bunch of uh, dirt. We have plenty of leaves here. I'll probably chop down more leaves as we go. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you know, I think we got enough stuff done today. Um, I was kind of hoping to finish up that one quest, but yeah, unfortunately we can't. We just don't have enough iron to do that. But yeah, we made some pretty good progress. And this one, yeah, we need printed circuit board, which I'm pretty sure we can't do yet. Oh, but look at all the iron that gives us. Ooh, that is awesome. Ooh, slime plant seeds. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. 